Hi everyone, it's Eddie at Eddie Makes Art, and today I am going to show you what I've done with the Boho Style Journal. I wasn't happy with what I was doing before because it just it wasn't me. It wasn't my style, and I just couldn't bring myself to finish the book. It sat in my room for at least two weeks, collecting dust, and I finally had. Um, a realization that it's because it wasn't me so I basically tore up the original plan and um, just made a brand new book essentially um, so as you can see here in this first part I am taking a, a gel print that I made on some rice paper and I'm gluing it down onto the spine of the signature not the not the book this is just the signature inside and I am um, just gluing this piece onto the spine and just to give it some extra oomph. So basically I'm grunging up this journal big time. Um, I'm using um, gel medium gloss, gloss gel medium to um, adhere it to the book. Well, I should say to the signature because the, the book cover is separate. You'll see that later. And that's not what it looked like. It's not what you, it looked like before. And I think that once I realized, once I started putting my own, let's say, stink on the journal, it really came together quickly. And um, it just basically turned into more of an art journal. And um, it, it's it's me it's definitely more me there's a lot more you know grungy inking um i've used a lot of my own uh, artwork in the book um and so you'll see as we go through the video um i recorded this over several days and um, i didn't get every single step there was about five hours of video so i had to edit it down i don't think you wanted to watch five hours and so I just um, put some of the greatest hits in the video. Um, and then at the end of the video, you'll see a, um, a flip through of the final journal. And I decided to add some people into the journal. That's Martha. She's a bohemian, but she's wacky. So I took this um, gel print that I did on some tissue paper and tore it up. And I used that as a background for Martha. And I've covered up a lot of the, um, the pages that we originally put together. Um, like I said, with my own art, with um, just other stuff, because it was um, it was definitely more me. And here, I'm just trying to decide, you know, what to put with what. And um, so, I took another piece of uh, gel printed tissue and adding a little decorative piece to the front of Martha. And I left the I'm, I'm going to leave the back of her head unglued and you can so I can tuck something in there and again I'm using the gel medium to um, the acrylic gel medium to adhere the, the gel print to the paper it's good stuff sticky but it's good stuff As far as like a color theme, I wasn't worried. Um, my colors kind of go all over the place. Um, so this is, um, you'll see a lot of that. I went ahead and used gel medium on Martha too, because it's, it, it's printed on a thicker stock. So I want to make sure that it has a good contact and it hangs on there. Because like I said, we're not going in the back of her head. That way I can tuck stuff.
these two guys. These two guys are the the, the fun of the, the life of the party. It's Chet and Robert. Those are their names. Um, so I did something fun with these. Initially, I kind of just just used the these portraits and just tucked them into a pocket. Um, but at the end, in the flip through of the journal, you'll see um, the update on these guys, and I made them more fun, more interesting. And like I said, this was done over several days. Um, so the lighting's a little different, and clothing's different. Because um, it took me a while to get this, get this done, but I had so much fun. And now I'm just outlining the butterfly with a silver gel pen. Just to give it a little more pizzazz. And as you'll notice, as I go through the book, I use a lot more of the Distress Ink and um, just to grunge it up even more. And I even use the, um, my black watercolor pencil to um, add some Distress Ink as well. this spread I took this larger gel print and it was kind of just like funky and just kind of wasn't working for me as a whole um, but I thought it looked really good against the blue pages um, so I took a, a bit from each side each half of the print and put it um, in both the page on one on either page um, and just kept it simple I just wanted to cover up the solid blue um, and it'll, those glue marks up in the, um, on the right hand page that I left on there. notice too that I didn't remove um, what I originally put into the journal as far as like gluing down like pockets and those sorts of things I just grunged them up more or put something over it um, and just you know changed it up that way I don't want to tear apart the whole book literally it was, it's a good foundation As you can see, I'm, I'm really inking it up, like going, going to town. This, this, this sucker's gonna look like it's been drugged through the mud. And then I'm using um, a, uh, a foam stamp from PM Artist Studio. It's one of their IMPPs they sent me. It's an imperfect one. Um, but it's, um, it's one of the ones they have in their shop now. Um, I just happened to get one that's, you know, a little wonky from um, from Patricia at, uh, and Mariah at PM Artist Studio, just so I could show you, you know, how they work. And they work great. These stamps hold a lot of um, ink on them. And as long as you hold them down for the right amount of time, for like five or six seconds, it gives you a really good impression. black ink here to, um, to stamp with. And I'll link um, PM Artist Studio in the description box so you can um, go to their website and take a look at their stamps and stencils. They have a huge selection. It's awesome. Well, 
but I figured I was just gonna do the sides and then I just I went and did around the whole um, the whole page as a border and I'm using a little piece of tissue there to kind of catch any of the extra ink and here I'm using my watercolor pencil and uh, a brush with some water on the side to um, to enhance the the flower and basically the entire page there I go through and um, just kind of making marks highlighting certain areas as you can see it's getting darker and darker it doesn't take much just a little you know highlighting here and there with the, with the black you can see there I have on the plate, I have um, just some water on one side and then I, I, I'll dip the pencil and melt it down and then, you know, with the water and just use that to paint directly on the paper. Now the paper does get a little, little bit warped because it's water, obviously, but um, you can put something flat on it and, or something heavy on it, it'll flatten out overnight. But it adds a really, really good effect. I've been teasing this um, on in my Facebook group, Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists, um, run by PM Artist Studio, and I've been teasing this new video coming out um, and and the, the the updated journal. Um, people have been asking and wondering, and I just I've been trying to keep it a secret because I was very excited about um, what I've been doing and and the final outcome, and. Um, and I think I'm very pleased with the final outcome. I may keep it for myself. I haven't decided yet. At the end, if you're interested, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe I'll put it in my shop. And as you can see here, I'm just adding just dark and making marks and just dirtying it up now this is a gel print that I did using um, a stencil a couple of stencils from PM artist studio and this is a uh, gel printed on gel print on tissue that I sprayed um, with some distress inks and I'm just going to glue that to the back of the gel print that I cut out and that's going to be a tag you see here you can you got a few minutes with the with the glue I use the glue stick uh, you get a few minutes a few seconds to maneuver and make sure your papers you know nice and flat and while it's still wet definitely try and rub out the wrinkles unless you want them you know but I try to rub out as many as I can Design you see on the tissue that's from um, one of PM artists new stencils um, and it's called uh, feathery eye clusters it's a fantastic stencil I, I recommend checking it out um, and then on the front you see this, this sort of markings right they're kind of lighter than the blue and that is from their asemic writing stencil or semic, uh, yeah writing uh, stencil that I used in um, made some marks with that remember these tags um, these little journal cards I, I made in one of the last videos of the series and I decided to um, I grunged them up too and you can see in the little girl's dress I added um, polka dots all over and now I'm just adding some um, some yarn all the way around just to give it a little extra something and keep it within the boho style and I'm just using a uh, the glitter glue to um, to glue it down you don't need much 
And this is a fun little thing I got at the art store. It's a yarn cake. I've never seen them because I don't really, you know, use much yarn. I thought the, I thought it was really neat, so I picked it up, and it's, it unravels pretty easily. <laughs> I think by the end of the video, this this was all over the floor and just everywhere. Now this part is a the middle of the journal, and what I did was is I put two journal prints there, uh, or two gel prints on each side, and then I used a piece of um, Yupo that's been painted on as the that green rectangle, which is used I use it as like a um, a hinge. And then um, you can flip the quote up, and then there's some art underneath. And what I'm doing now is I'm cutting out some circles uh, from these gel prints, and I'll glue them, and I glue them under each of the quotes. And this is also the page where the previous little journal cards that I did with the yarn, those are going to go in there. As you can see, I just, you know, it livens up the journal. Um, it makes it a lot more personal. A lot more interesting and it makes me happy I think that's all that matters and I'm showing you these two guys again but they're not going to stay that way <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you again. Now that's another tag and I zhuzhed that one up with some uh, printed tissue. And here I am going to just mess up this page, uh, grunge it up, get it all nice and dirty. Now I'm taking the Funky Leaf Foam Stamp from PM Artist Studio and just gonna make a, a page, of, page of leaves. And I love the design on this stamp. You can even go in and color it in if you wanted to. Um, and that's the other thing about this journal. Um, I say it's finished, but it's really not. There's definitely things that I want to do, um, uh, additional things, and who knows, maybe even more. That's why I may keep it, I don't know. Here again, I'm using the watercolor pencil to, um, to highlight the edges on the flower that's there, and just um, grunging it up. And you can use your finger too, you don't need a brush. And all we're doing is just adding some, you know, some color just to make that flower pop. Now, this journal card is going to get fixed up a little bit. So I just took some scissors and um, distressed the edges uh, even more. Just, you know, roughed them up. And that way they'll take in, they'll grab more of the ink when I do the edges. stack of tissues, uh, gel print on tissue to see what I wanted. And I found this one I used, um, that I did with uh, Fran Baker's stencils, um, Alien Garden, something like that. And um, yeah, it's a pink and, pink and blue um, combination. And uh, so yeah, I tore it up and decided to use it on there and also um, on the back. Now I chose this one because if you notice there in the bottom right, there's the little um, blue jay with the pink background. 
So I think this works perfectly with that. And for this one again, I'm just using a glue stick, um, a permanent glue, and it works just as well as the gel medium. For this particular purpose, um, if I was doing more layering and stuff um, or heavy pa heavier paper, I'd use the gel medium. But this is just one layer. That's it. I don't remember. If, I think this tissue is like your regular store you know gift tissue um so you can see it's it doesn't like to um stay straight when you put the adhesive on it but once you spread it out it, it looks just fine now we're going to give it some stars and that's another stamp by um pmr studio I just went around the tag, or the journal card, and put some stars all over it, because the quote says, we are stardust. Now, I've got some cutouts that I am going to distress with some distress sprays here in the spray box. Sorry about the angle on this, it's not the best, but you get the idea of what I'm doing. And um, just using these the sprays on the, um, on the die cuts. Uh, these die cuts were made by Maya, and um, she sent me some fantastic ones. So I'm gonna use these as some decoration. And then she sent me some feathers, and there's feathers all through the journal, so I'm going to use those as well. And I'm just using a different combination of the inks, just to give it, you know, some vibrance and some, you know, some funkiness. Before I spray these, sometimes what I do is I take some, uh, a spray bottle with just water and just spray a little, a uh, few drops of water on this and it helps the colors blend better when you're, when you're laying them down onto the paper. Now before you can use these, you have to let them dry because they, they're basically paper that you're throwing water on. And there's um, puddles on the bottom of the box there, so I just took, um, that die cut just wiped it all up and it gives it a cool effect. Oh, grungy, grungy. And now, the bee. Yeah, she sent me this awesome bee. I love how the wings go down like it's, it's, it's laying down. Yeah, I kept it simple with the bee. I just did um, some of the amber spray with a little bit of the black distress spray, black soot, and then some of the coral. I just kept it really cool, simple. All right, now for this tag, I have um, printed or stamped on some tissue you see there on the left. It's gel printed, and then I use some uh, stamps on it. And this is the honeybee, or no, this is the bumblebee on the paper, but what I'm using here is the, um, the wasp. And I'm just cut it out, and I'm just gonna slap it down on the tag just to give it a little more interest. And again, I'm just dirtying it up with the ink. And I think the only ink besides black that I'm using in the journal right now is the um, 
Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. This is a page, a book page that I painted with acrylics. I just put the flowers and leaves and stuff on it. Um, and I never used it. And um, <clears throat> so I pulled it out and um, I fussy cut some of the flowers and put them on the journal card. Again, just a little more of uh, my own personal touches, touches to make the book, you know, more special. The final step, what I did was I take, took some crystal uh, Nouveau drops and just added a few drops to the center of the flowers. Just to give it a little texture and a little shine. the journal card uh, the other one and I thought that the front needed a little extra so I added uh, another piece of that pink and blue print with a label a word wish and another um, die cut that I had um, painted like gold and some other colors and now I'm gonna add some more did I add more oh no no I did that previously but um, yeah, I just kind of just added different sprays and stuff and then uh, just sticking it down with some glitter glue. And here I am updating some of the tags that we made in the previous videos. Um, again, with just some of my gel prints on tissue, um, just because it doesn't add a lot of bulk. So I can put more stuff in the book. That was kind of my other goal um, working on this book was not to make it super bulky. Um, so a lot of my layers are, are pretty thin. And for this one, um, the coloring on the back of that card, um, it's sort of like a brassy kind of color, it looks like. And so I just, I this particular print worked really well. So I cut it into strips of three and just laid it across the back of the tag um, just in stripes. Now this is a page that was just kind of like um, a printer was working on and then it, the paper got stuck and some of it got messed up. So um, I did some stamping over it and I just tore it up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my distress sprays and, and paint them up, change them up a little bit. And all I do is I'm spraying it down. Um, at some point, I'll use some water to blend it in, and I'm just using a sponge 
um, to spread it um, over the paper and then just, you know, give it another look. Now those white parts showing, they're going to take up some color and, and really bring that little textures back to life. Added some of the green here to pistachio, I believe, just to kind of push the blue back just a little bit. it directly onto the paper or you can um, you'll see later I put it some on the side there and add a little water um, I probably should have diluted it before I added it to the tag but it worked out just added it all over and, and blended it with some water and um, made it super cool and this one we're doing some of my um, own homemade ink it's an alcohol ink and it's supposed to be it's from a blue marker but it comes off very purple and it's it's pretty strong but um, I thin it out and just and spread it all over now for the last one I'm using um, two of my greens some water and I'm going to use a paintbrush and just to show you that you can use different things to um, achieve this. And I'm just going along all the edges, getting them nice and nice and juiced up with color. And then I go over the entire thing with um, with the layer of the same, but just not as thick, just a little more watered down. This is another gel print I did, and I'm going to cut it up and I'm um, going to use that as uh, going to make a couple of pockets with that. Pocket all done. And you see on this page, I put the decorative um, border down at the bottom. And on the opposite page, on the right, I put the border up at the top because I have a pocket at the bottom there. And on this page, hmm, I couldn't decide what to do. And then it hit me. Make it dirty. We're bringing back the, um, the spray dyed uh, pieces. And I'm going to glue them onto the, um, the inside of the fold out just to give it some, some color. This, this little section here is kind of just flat and boring. And adding these strips of the, the gel prints with the spray just really, really livened up the whole section. time um, for the ink I'm using the blue uh, distressed denim ink from Tim Holtz I thought it looked good with the uh, blue and then I took some more of the stamps from uh, PM Artist Studio this is their moth death head moth and just lay down some stamps and or some moths and then added um, the other pocket to this page I decorated the pocket with a little bit of a gel print I tore up, inked up, and then a piece of that um, leftover um, uh, border that we grunged up earlier with the sprays. Now let's take care of the belly band. This boring belly band. Belly band. Well, yeah, belly bland. Um, so taking it, um, taking some uh, ink to it and just dressing it all up. This is um, just burlap. Uh, burlap. I laid on some um, 
of the digital paper on a piece of black cardstock. And then I have these pieces of Yupo that I used um, when I was making some gel prints and they're covered in paint, but they're, they're, the coloring is really cool. So I'm gonna use those to decorate um, the belly band. I'm just using the glitter glue to stick these down. Um, just gotta hold them for a few seconds and they stick really well. This Yupo is a, it's, it's a plastic material. see that it coordinates really well with what we did on the right um, and it pulls in some of the blue from the left. Here I'm just taking a piece of music I just want to um, or a hymnal just tuck it in so you can see that it's a belly band. <laughs> there you go much better. <laughs> Now I am going to sew. This one was rough, simply because the day I decided to sew this in was the day my hands decided to not work as well as they should. So um, I struggled a little bit, but um, finally got it done. And you'll see in a few seconds, the front of the cover, or the, the entire cover, is pretty grunged up. I used a white pen, a white gel pen, to make um, the marks so I knew where to punch holes, uh, just because it shows up better on the um, on the blue. And then in the inside of the cover, that's black. Look at that cover. I sprayed the heck out of that thing. It took about four days to dry. I finally got it dry. sewn in, signature into the cover, and now, for the rest of the video, I will put all my bits and bobs inside and um, flip through as well, so enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming along on this crazy journey, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.